February is the month chosen for the celebration of Black History Month, and this year was even more special as the Newark Museum of Art hosted the Afro Elegance Kings and Queens Black and Thai Affair. The event resulted of a partnership established between the museum, Afrotacos, and Forsip Media Group, in which the African artistic expression and social responsibility walked side by side. So to me, art is really about activism. No matter what you do, art is something that you feel. It connects human experiences. When you see a piece of art, or you hear a piece of music, or you dance, or you watch a film, or you make something creative, it really connects you to the human spirit. It's a way for us to express our emotions. So having an event like this really enriches everyone around us because we're celebrating the art, we're celebrating the culture, and we're also telling people that you too can be involved. You you can come and watch art, you can come and dance, you can party, you can you know, be a part of everything that we're doing here. And the goal really is to not just have people enjoy the art, but while we've got their attention, let's talk about some real issues. The intention was clear, the community responded, and the event quickly sold out. In alignment with its purpose, a portion of the proceeds were donated to the Newark Museum of Art and the local YMCA that reinforced the importance of such partnerships. By partnering, they can do mentoring programs is a larger um, idea I would have in terms of art because children are so affected and impacted in such a great way when they're exposed to art at such a young age. Founded in 1909, the Newark Museum of Art is the largest art and education institution in the Garden State. It is known for its global art collections. And this year, for the first time, the iconic institution received the work of Angolan artists through Art, a program by UNESCO, the Angolan government, and the American Schools of Angola, whose mission revolves around the social and economic empowerment of artists, creating a new bridge between Angola and the city of Newark. This came about of the fact that we have invited the Deputy Mayor of the City of Newark and also the Director for the People's Assembly of Newark to visit with the project in Luanda last year um, around the Biennale of Luanda for the, the Pan-African Forum of uh, the Culture of Peace. And um, I think we made good friends and caused the deputy mayor and the city to embrace what we were doing. And by extension, we now have a cultural exchange uh, that is international in nature, where we have U.S. artists coming into Angola, um, interacting with other Angolan artists, actually living and staying some time in Angola in residency, and we expect to do the same thing. And so, uh, naturally, the, Newark, the, the New York Museum also became aware of what we were doing and would like also to embrace the cause that we are involved in. So this was actually um, a great opportunity that we've been talking about to Marcy and Cliff and Marcus for a long time, right? We've been starting last year yes, more last or less year. saying, is there a way <laughs> that we can showcase some of the works of these incredible Angolan artists um, here in Newark? And we've been sort of thinking of the best set to, to do, do that. Yeah. And then when Cliff came up with this idea of this uh, beautiful event, um, it felt like it was the right moment and the right way to do it. It makes sense for a museum like us. We have an African collection, we showcase local artists, we showcase international artists, we love contemporary artists, so this is this was the perfect fit, right? Darryl? I would agree, and we, Newark, is an ambassador city, so, you know, it's very important for us to show the cross-cultural uh, relevancy and importance, specifically speaking to the broad diaspora that lives here in the city of Newark, so um, ultimately I think if we're just going to underscore the reality of the situation, this is just under, this is emphasizing, there we go, emphasizing um, how important it is, again, to just show uh, a museum space or a space like this to show the community that we're here for them and that living artists matter just as much as the artists that have passed on. This multidisciplinary artistic celebration also combined music, fashion, and food through the hands of the team led by Cliff Mills, the CEO of Afro Tacos and the mastermind behind the Afro Elegance event concept. Well, one of the great, great things about the city of Newark is an emerging city for um, artists and it's an emerging city for African American businesses. So uh, we wanted to highlight those and put those two together. We have a real passionate for you know working within our community here in the city of Newark. We have a great African uh, community here, and we love to you know bring everything together and also spread the business and um, collaborate with the art um, culture. 
in alignment with the recognition of the contributions made by African descendants in Newark, the event honored the entrepreneur and New York Times best-selling author Tiffany the Budgetnista Eliche with the Afro Excellence Award for 2023. Miss Aliche is a Newark native that champions financial literacy and has helped over two million people to attain financial stability. We've all heard the, the saying, a starving artist, and I don't believe that that has to be true. That if you are artistic and you are an artist, therefore that means that there's this creative energy inside you that you can also put toward creating a business around your art. So I think that more events like this can showcase artists, but hopefully, you know, to encourage people to understand that your creative energy can also be put toward managing your money and managing your business in a way that, that can be viable. Empowerment, unity, and the potential behind artistic creativity were concepts that resonated throughout the entirety of the event, and the organizing partners shared a feeling of mission accomplished. I feel really proud and really full of so much love that this community has supported this idea, that the museum supported the idea. Today we had in our presence, we had our first lady, Mrs. Linda Baraka. We have dignitaries here from Angola. We have many movers and shakers in the city. We honored the budget Nista, Newark's own Tiffany Aliche, who has roots in Nigeria. So this is not only a success for me personally, it's a success for everyone and for this entire city because we're showing what happens when people support one another and when we take all of our resources together and we use them to celebrate one another and to show off our amazing city. More than a gala, the Afro Elegance Kings and Queens Black and Tie Affair resulted in a successful case study that will forever remain in the history of the city, empowering local artists and establishing new bridges between Newark and other countries, in this case, Angola, which can only solidify the ongoing conversations of Newark and Luanda and its official status of sister cities in the near future.